Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson. Today I'm going to show you how to use tulle and ribbon to decorate a flower pot. Now you can get flower pots in any home improvement center or garden center or even sometimes in the dollar store. I have an, a stainless steel one here. You can get clay ones, ceramic ones, all kinds. So tool and ribbon you can get at any craft store or you can cut up some old item that you have around the house that you don't use anymore and just recycle the pieces. This is the same kind of tool like you would use in a bridal veil. I had an old bridal veil that my daughter had from a costume that wasn't being used anymore so I just used it for this. So I cut out a piece about this long. You do whatever length you want depending on the size of the pot. So I'm just going to kind of fold both ends to the middle overlapping just a little bit like this and then I'm going to take the ribbon and tie it around the middle like this. I'm going to tie it so that the front of what I want exposed is going to have the knot on the top because I'm going to put it around the thing. So I'm just going to put it right on the top here very tightly and make a double knot. Then you take that and you lay that down on the table and you put your pot on it and you bring the ribbon around and tie it on the back. Now it may stay on or you might find if the bottom of the pot tapers that it may want to slide down. So you may want to put just a bead of hot glue and let that dry for a moment and then tie it on to hold it in place a little bit. Meanwhile, um, Keep in mind that you can use any color ribbon, any type of ribbon, any color tool, depending on the color of the pot, the color of the decor in the room that you're going to put it. It's all a matter of choice. So you can tie that on there. And the glue will hold that up in place. I'm just going to trim it off. You can tie a bow if you want. But this is on the back of the pot. It's really not necessary. Now getting back to the front of the pot, again, you may want to put just a little drop of hot glue to keep it in the position that you want because when the bottom is tapered, it's going to want to slide down. So now I'm going to hold that in place for a moment to dry. You get little strings from the hot glue sometimes. You could just easily peel those away. Then you take the tool and you just kind of spread it out into a little bowl like this. And there you have a flower pot decorated with tool and ribbon. Looks lovely in a girl's room or a living room, anywhere that you want to add just a little feminine touch. My name is Linda Hutchinson. Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye.